What is fishbone diagram? Fishbone diagram, Ishikawa diagram, or cause and effect diagram, was proposed by Ishikawa in the 1960s. It is considered one of the seven basic tools of quality control. The design of the diagram looks much like the skeleton of a fish. Therefore, it is often referred to as the fishbone diagram. The fishbone diagram identifies many possible causes for an effect or problem. That is the reason, it is also known as cause and effect diagram. This diagram assists teams in categorizing the potential causes of problems in an orderly way and in identifying root causes. Before you proceed to make a fishbone diagram, all team members should to be very clear about what exactly the problem is. The problem statement is described in the fish head portion in effect box. To set the ball rolling and to ensure logical control over the brainstorming process, the following fundamental blocks are listed to begin with. People Methods Machines Materials Measurements and environment. We will look at these causes in more detail in the next slide. Use brainstorming to identify the factors within each category that may be affecting the problem, issue, or effect being studied. Continue to brainstorm until you no longer get useful information. Causes are usually grouped into major categories. These are some of the categories generally used. People People may have been responsible for the problem. Methods Methods are ways of doing things. It may include policies, procedures, rules, regulations and laws. A typical cause under the method category is non-availability of clear instructions, not following instructions, or the instructions are wrong. Machines, equipment, tools etc. are required to accomplish the job. There are a lot of possibilities that a problem can be due to the machine. Materials Materials include raw materials, parts etc. used to produce the final product. Measurements Problems may occur if measurements are wrong or the measurement technique used is not relevant. Environment The conditions, such as location, time, temperature, and culture in which the process operates, you may even consider other causes, including, management. These are some of the applications of Ishikawa diagram. To analyze and find the root cause of a complicated problem, when there are many possible causes for a problem. If the traditional way of approaching the problem, such as trial and error, or trying all possible causes, is very time consuming. The problem is very complicated and the project team cannot identify the root cause. 